Eiffel. London. 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 Eiffel. My name's Coogan Cassius, this is I Film London. We're at the Coronet Theatre in Elephant Castle. I've just run into, well, one of the most talked about men in boxing right now. It's Hard Knox's CEO, Spencer Fearon. What's happening, Spencer? I'm cool, man. I mean, Coog, it's good to see you. You are actually looking in condition today. You've even got your hair cut. Look at that little diamond in there. Come on, come on. Little diamond up in his ear as well. Trying to show off it. You know, but if you can wear the earring on the left ear, it means you're a homosexual. And I ain't got nothing against gay people, but they got something against you. Look, you're balancing it out. So, you know what I mean? So, you're bisexual. One, one, yeah, one's work is one out, man. <laughs> Let, let's talk about what everyone's talking about. What are they all talking about? Are they talking about what? what they're, they're talking about, about Premier Sports. T talk Premier Sports. What? Listen to me, man. I don't want to have to bolster or nothing, but Premier come and look for me. I never look for Premier. Premier, they, they, come, they come search me out. They try to contact me, but they can't get hold of me because you know I'm not an easy man to get hold of. So they contact my business partner. The real person who should be getting all the fame and all the adulation is my business partner, um, Karen Baines, who's out on the barbie right now in sunny Australia. You know what I mean? Eating food and he's watching the fights right now as I'm right here talking. But, you know, we're doing our thing. And they contacted us and they said, well, you know what, Spence? You're flavour, you know? And I said, yes, I'll give you that sweet taste. So, you know what I mean? And like, I'm being humble about it. And, and like, we're busting it, you know what I mean? Six fight deal, first fight's on October 7th. And we're gonna do it, man. And I've gotta say this also. I've gotta big up your partner in crime, Jane Couch. I love Jane Couch. She screams my name all the time. You guys are doing, listen, number one is this. People don't props these people enough. We need more men like you. Not like you, maybe like the cameraman. We need more man, we need more man right, who's doing the thing so therefore we can see about boxing. Look at this, I'm at somebody else's show. Can I show love to everyone? I give out love to all, you know what, because boxing. And like, I know for a fact that I'm raising the standards because no one weren't calling no 50-50 fights until I come along. No one weren't wearing no suits at their shows until I come along. What? So therefore, I'm doing my thing. You know what I mean? I support all the man there is all love and harmony and peace. But you know what? It's hard knocks for life, baby. Trust me. I could listen to you all day, and I, I'm going to listen to you all day. Listen, Hard Knocks has been going for two years. Did you think that a TV deal would come yes, after two yes, years? Yes, yes. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do I How think? did you think like, I knew after two let years? Let me tell you this now. You see, because I put these things out there. You know why? Because let me tell you this now. Now, you have certain people who don't want to really see you succeed, but they see you can't stop God's plan. You know what I mean? Because God don't make mistakes. Number one, Baba Tundi Ajayi always tells me that day in, day out. God don't make mistakes. And also, God don't sleep. When the next man are out there sleeping, I, I'm not sleeping. I'm out working on my stuff. So therefore, when I'm busting up my things and doing up my things, what can you say? I do the best shows, the best shows. So therefore, obviously, they're going to have to give it a platform. So they give me a platform to say, do your thing. So anyone else who never said, right, we'll go grab you. They didn't want to go grab me. That's your business because you know what? I'm doing my thing. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Everyone calls my name. Even listen, I'm everywhere, even when I'm standing still. You know what I mean? Big up Chris Oko, big up Dylan White. Wait, come on, come on, Chris. Big up Chris Oko. Long, never, What's happening, Chris? I bring, I bring everyone <laughs> I'm in good, this. I'm good, I'm good. I bring everyone in this thing. Because they never, Dylan White sitting over there as well. I come to support the man them. You know why I come to support the man them? Because I'm part of the man them as well. These are my family. You understand? All the rest of you guys, right, all the, all the rest of you, wait, this is what I'm saying. All the rest of you guys who are in this thing, you don't love boxing like me. You don't debate boxing like me. You don't do nothing for boxing. I'm gravitating boxing. I'm raising the game of boxing. Me, Little me, little me, you come from South London. Come, I'm raising the game. What? Hard knocks for life, baby. What? Hard knocks for life. You know you all want to fight on my shows now. Everyone's phoning me up now. Want to be my friends now. Everyone's phoning me. Even Chris Oko's writing messages on my Facebook now. Chris never used to talk to me. All of a sudden now, all of a sudden now they want to be, all of a sudden they want to be my friends. Darren Hamilton sitting down. Let me next thing. Darren Hamilton is going to rock up. What's that boy? Rocky Dean. What's his name? Rocky Ryan. I don't even know your name, you bum. You're going to get Rocky beat up. Rock, no, 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 Rocky. No, 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 I'm thinking Rocky, Rocky Milton. Milton. Yeah, yeah, Rocky Milton. Right? Stay out of this argument. What I'm trying to say to you is like, look, right, I'm telling you that bum, Darren Hamilton's coming for you. We're going to beat up all your Derby crew, that One Nation crew, the Bacon Dread. You know who the Bacon Dread is? Clifton Mitchell. Yeah, I mean, cut off his dreadlocks because he eats bacon. I went around. Seriously, I'm telling you the truth. Listen, you tried to stop eating bacon. You told me, your mom told me yourself. I'm not disrespecting your mom because I love her daily. She, I mean, a beautiful lady. But his mom told me that she, I tried to make him stop eating the pork. But when I did fry the beer can, it run down the stairs and eat it all up. That's what he's, he's a bacon dread. Man, I'm doing my thing. Hannah, you know, I sold that Yuko already. We got three, four weeks to go. But it's already sold out. So don't ask for no tickets because it's sold out. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my thing. I forgot the question. 
worry about that. I forgot the question. Don't worry about that. We're going to keep on doing this thing. We're going to do this thing bigger and better. It's going to get bigger and better. Support boxing. That's a common thing. And also, do not give guys pats on the back when they're fighting guys and they're having three, four fights and they're fighting a guy who's had 97 fights and only one, two. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't do that. Don't support that. That's killing our game. I'm raising the standard of the game. Give me my dues, man. Oh, sorry. Uh, in fact, uh, Boxing News are writing about me all the time now. I'm um, sorry. Uh, Boxing Monthly are writing about me all the time now. Oh, sorry. The Telegraph and the Mail. Next week, the Mail on Sunday. Me, me in your Mail. Come on, man. I'm doing my thing, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing my thing. Raise the standard of the game. Do not buy this rubbish. Do not buy garbage. Do not buy garbage. I'm the Class A. I might as well not be here. Spencer, listen, I agree with the majority of what you say. I agree with the majority of what you say. And do you know what? I've seen the way you've grafted for two years. And if there's any man that deserves what you've got, it's you. And I mean that. I haven't got to big you up. Uh, there's no reason to big you up. Because I will help you if I can. And I'll know that you will help me if you can. But I've got no reason to big you up. So I'm very, when I heard that news, I read it on Twitter. Yeah. When I read that news, I was very, very happy for you. Like I am today. I genuinely, genuinely am happy for you because you deserve that. You're a genuine guy. One of the genuine guys in boxing. This one tries to say boxing has to go back to the old days. I'll break it down to you. 1942, we had a great fighter. A great fighter, I keep on telling you, Charlie Burley was a superb fighter who did, who Sugar Ray Robinson apparently did not want to fight. Charlie Burley, in June of, of, 40, of 42, fought a guy called Ezra Charles, who's most probably the who no, in fact, who is the greatest light heavyweight of all time, but never won the title because you had the murderer's role, and they were called the black murderer's role, and these guys couldn't get a bring in. Right, these two fought twice in a month, and in that time of them fighting twice in a month, Ezra Charles beating the first time on points, and they fought again by the, uh, they fought again four weeks after, in July, they fought again, but within that time, Charlie Burley, who's a great Historic, historic fighter, uh, Charlie Burley fought a guy called Homer Williams. Homer Williams was 95 wins and five losses at the time. Charlie Burley beats him, and about a week later, then fights Ezra Charles again. That is boxing. You know what I mean? So don't, don't forget about these magical O's. Get rid of those. These are the things that are effing up, uh, messing up boxing. They're smashing boxing. Forget about those things. Get entertained. And and you guys, you're the paying public, complain when you're not being entertained. I entertain people. I've already had to be on, on two, two two shows already. I've given you the fight. Of the year with Troy, True and Pro versus Jackson CQ. I've given you most probably the second fight of the year with Nathan Graham versus Ado Anwar. I'm going to give you the next fight of the year. Come the, come the 7th of October. These are the things. Don't be robbed by boxing. Don't be robbed by these people. Good, you know what I mean? I'm telling you now, stand up for this thing. Support this thing. But support this thing, but don't buy rubbish. I'm saying peace, two fingers. I could talk forever. You all know this. The red, white, and the blue. You know this thing. You know, red for everybody. Red for everybody. Peace, two fingers. Hard knocks for life. This is Coogan Cassius for iFirm London with the now departed Spencer Fearon. He's not dead, though, he just walked off. Thank you very much. I feel London. 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 I feel London. London. London.